Bing, bang, boom. We're along the... What's up, everybody in YouTube land? Let me get my this going. Nope. Yep. So today, I'm going to see if I can make these colors work. They shouldn't work. There's no reason why they would work. They, in fact, by, I think, law, can't work. But I'm going to give it a shot. And so the colors that I'm going to use today are, Bo, you want up in your chair? Bo, you want up? One second. Come on. Come on. Thank you for the hustle. Not. Okay, so the colors I'm going to use are tangerine. Let me put some flash on tangerine. Deep turquoise. Purple sapphire. Titanium white. I think we're going to use Milky Way for a background or shooting star, however you want to say. So let's just dive right in. I don't want to do too much uh, shooting star or Milky Way because I don't want it to be like an opaque background. And while my lovely assistant, Jeffrey Vanna White, is a mixing for me, I'm going to... Mix some tangerine. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome. Um, I'm Erica, and this is my husband, Jeff, who's about to yell at me for not wearing shoes. Actually, I think I just called myself out. He was just seeing if this is level. Dang it. Anyways, yes, tangerine, Vegas maniac. Are you in Vegas right now? Isn't SEMA right now? Okay. I'm sorry, my love. Yeah, we don't need a lot. I just want just enough to make it opaque. Okay. You are. How is SEMA going? The next color I'm going to use is purple sapphire. It's arguably one of my favorite purples. Powders I really load up. So I don't know what I was doing, but I was, well, I know what I was doing. I was getting ready for the live, and I was like, um, what colors am I going to use? And then, that. I know, purple sapphire that is looks like something easily. We used to paint our bikes back in the days. You used to use the color like that to paint your bikes? Candy apple. This is like a candy apple. I love purple sapphire. I don't even know if I have any in stock, but it's on order. And then this one is Dark Turquoise by Color Obsession. Nope, Color Passion. Sorry, Deep Turquoise. And then some Titanium. Also, is not going to take a lot. Looks like an SE racing color. I can see that. So, I was trying to figure out what colors I was going to use today, figure out what I'm going to do for the live today. And I saw the deep turquoise and was like, I've never used that color. What would it go good with? And then I was like, actually, let's see if I can make colors that it shouldn't go good with work out for the best. And so we're going to see, <laughs> we're going to see, essentially, is the end of that sentence. What do we got here? So we've got a resin art purple sapphire. Ooh, ah. Uh, just resin tangerine. Uh, Milky Way or Shooting Star by resin art. Deep turquoise by Color Passion. And titanium white by Just Resin. It is, it is still Halloween-y, and that's okay, because I can extend Halloween. I feel like Christmas gets like 12 months of the year. Why not give Halloween a little bit extra time? 12 months of the year. 
Well, depending on what store you're at, it kind of is 12 months of the year. Like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, one of those literally always has Christmas stuff up. Yep, we'll see. So I'm going to start by basing everything out with the Shooting Star or Milky Way. This is a beautiful powder that's actually a dry paste. So it is not just a mica that's finely ground and put in a jar. This actually, the resin art colors have pigmented micas. And this one in particular has a kind of a rainbowy sparkle if you hit it in the right light. Let me see if I, there it goes. So if I get you guys out of focus, you can see the rainbow. Boop. All right. So this is going to be our base. I haven't decided if I'm just going to do a messy pour or if I'm going to do a swipe. What do you guys think I should do? Should I just do an old school style pour where we just put colors down and see what we can do with them? Or should we be swipey with it? Let me know. Temple, Texas, that's not that far from us. I drive through there all the time, headed down to Rhonda's. Spooky time's your favorite time of the year. Listen, I'm a fall fan. I got a messy and I got a swipe. What's up, Chuck? Two swipes, do it all. Do something different. So you went with none of them. A dirty swipe, do you. Okay. What's up, Sue? You're exactly. I put it back up there. It's right. Nope. Yep. Okay. So then what I'm going to do, since everybody has a different idea, I'm just going to start with a messy pour and then we're going to swipe through it to um, kind of refine the piece, if you will. So what I'm not going to do is add a whole bunch of heat to the piece because the colors that I've chosen for today, if they were to mix and make a secondary color, they would look um, gross. Thank you, Claire, for coming in clutch with the links. Thank you, all the mods, for helping me out. Okay, so let's just, um, let's just go, right? Let's just go. So I'm going to start with the deep turquoise. And typically with my pores, I don't do a lot of skinny lines because that's when things get busy and messy. This is the first time I've caught you guys live, so I'm super excited. Hopefully a husband doesn't show up and drag me away. You tell your husband, Vegas maniac, that you are busy right now with your fam. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Unless you want to, which is also fine. So I'm still trying really hard not to get any skinny lines in there so we can keep it as not busy as possible. And I know this doesn't look good right now, but just stick with me. We'll make something amazing. Just let it happen. Just shh. Okay, I'm going to separate these colors with some white. And I know, I know it doesn't look cute. If I started watching a video and it looked like this, I'd be like, mm, I'm out. For all these reasons, I'm out. A la Shark Tank. You guys ever watch that? Just me and Jeff? Cool. My dishwasher is making weird noises. For what? Yeah. Okay, now we'll add the purple sapphire because I love it. I didn't even think about it before Vamp said something, but yeah, these are still very Halloween-y colors. Okay. 
We used to do pours like this all of the time back in the beginning. I think even before we started using like paste when we were still using acrylic paint and resin. Okay, let's get a heat gun out. I still don't want to use that much heat, so I'm going to turn my heat level down to about half. I just want it to move everything without mixing everything. And if I have to um, turn up the heat like I'm going to have to do, then that's fine. We tried. I don't get a movie with a hair dryer. That's a pretty powerful hair dryer. I'm just very... interested in seeing what we can mix and make with these without getting too incredibly crazy which i think it's going to get crazy i'm going to end up swiping this and that is fine but before we do that i'm going to tilt it around all these colors individually don't look that bad together Okay, I say they don't look that bad together. Jeff, on the other hand, is like, mm, but a little bit they do. So because I put that thick Milky Way base down, everything is sliding over that base really easily. That's why I almost always do a grease the pan unless I'm doing an ocean, because I want the exact opposite to happen on those types of pieces. You know, it appears that I'm tilting everything off, and a little bit I am, but mostly I'm just trying to get the design to flow in a way that I'm okay with. Also, hair. The purple is doing awesome things with the orange. I agree. Why are we talking about pole dancing boots? Oh, you got an ad for pole dancing boots. Because, Clara, maybe your other Google searches... Um, ...has something to do with that. I don't know. All right, let's get swipey. Let's do, fill that back in. Let's do a swipe that goes this way. Well, we'll do another piece for your TikTok later. Okay. I'm going to do some orange over the purple. Um, if I told you about all of the ads that I've gotten over the years on Facebook, you'd be like, um, the algorithm's a little bit off. You know what? About these colors, it's okay if they don't exactly go because they are of the Halloween-y anyways. 
Look how pretty that purple and orange are together. Like they look really good actually mixed together and I would have bet money that yeah. they wouldn't. Like I would have put money. This looks almost sunset -y. somehow. Okay, I'm gonna take <clears throat> some of the orange. Do I have any orange? I'm just gonna boop, pick up some orange. Bring it in that way. I need more so wipey paper. Mm. That's one of my hairs, I believe. I guess I'm gonna just come back in. But I want some purple. I'm gonna just pick up some of that. And I'm going to put this up orange right here to tie that in. I'm actually not hating this anymore. I never hate things, but I a little bit didn't like it. You want me to bring it up and through this way? Did you say nappiness? Mm. I do have a little bit of crazy going on. Okay. So I'm going to take my time on this one since I'm pulling through a lot of different colors. And hopefully redeposit some up here. I think I want to come in and do that. Instead of going this way, I want to come this way because everything is smaller right here. And I want to... You guys, when I started this, um, the ideas for this piece, I was like... I'm setting myself up for failure. We all know this. It's fine. It's whatever. But I'm feeling not that much like a failure right now. These colors are just so rich. And I want to use this purple and the orange to do a sunset for real. What do you guys think? What's your favorite color? in the madness that we've done so far. I need to pick up something. I need, maybe let's get some of this orange and purple from under here on the tilt off. A little bit of that. And then kind of re go in right here. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Loving it, loving. I'm so glad you like it, like I do. I hope your PT went well, Joe. How much? I don't know. It's just a 12 inch, so like 75 probably. Do you guys hear that? What's up, Miss Betty? How are you doing? So this is my favorite bit. Just all of this goodness right in here. And it makes me want to do sunset -y things. You're waiting for the bang? Same. Apparently they missed. 
ultimately it is a little bit busy for me, but thank you so much, Kelly. Um, I don't, I really don't hate it. Like I'm so into this area. Like if I could just make the whole piece this bit, I'd be a happy, happy camper. So what's your favorite color that I used in this piece? Let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, I have to get on um, off of the live for today because uh, I'm making my husband, I still love saying that, some homemade dinner. Be scared. Don't be scared. It's going to be delicious. Anyways. I do have work to do. I have a lot of work to do before we leave the shop on Saturday. Saturday. Um, we have a code out right now, so check your email and, and check out all the new merch we have. We, yeah, we have like... 1,200 new designs, I feel like. <gasps> He's exaggerating like me. Yeah, we have uh, new shirts out, new hoodies, new girls' tees. We haven't had girls' tees yet, I don't think. We haven't. We haven't had any of the, like, fitted girl tees. And we have, like, we regular have tees. Um, new hoodies, new, new aprons. New hoodies, aprons. I don't want this on me. <laughs> but do it while I clean this up. So yeah, we got some prints out there too. Some prints of the artwork that we have up at uh, Deep Elm Art Co. Uh, up on the website. And if you guys uh, aren't able to do any of that, it's fine as long as you just share some of it. Tell your coworkers about it. That's just as good. Are you getting that guy? Yeah. Yes, and please leave your thumbs, subscribe if you haven't. You're already here watching We Art Every Day. It's usually resin, but it's always a good time. And it'll probably be February before we get a new studio class here. But uh, as of January, I'm going to start the Pour With Us. Oh, that wasn't even a thing thing. I'm going to start the Pour With Us. Um, monthly kits again, and I'm thinking about doing a, oh my goodness, I forgot that, don't do too much, I forgot the words, an advent calendar, I'm thinking about doing like a 12 day advent calendar for Christmas with pigments in it, if you guys are interested in that, let me know, I think it would be cute, I haven't seen a resin company do advent, and I think it'd be really fun. In fact, I think it'd be super 100% fun. So let me know. And so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and seeing what we're up to today. I know it was super short, but we got a lot of stuff going on. And so I hope you guys have a great evening. Try out new colors. Try colors that you've never tried before. And you never know what uh, magic you can create. Anyways. Be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. So you don't have to. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. He said bye.